Hi, my name is Michelle Simpson and I am 34 years old and live in Greenville, South Carolina. So the, cho the place that I chose to film and my sensual place is my closet. Um, this is my closet. It's kind of messy right now, but you know, all my boots are up there. And I try to color coordinate my clothes, but I am a mom of two, and sometimes that doesn't really quite happen. Uh, so let's get started. Um, and so the reason why I chose my closet is because um, my clothes are uh, a very big part of me and how I feel uh, daily. You know, my mood changes. So depending on how I feel is how I dress. And, um, and my clothes make me feel confident and they make me feel um, that I can pretty much take on anything if I'm dressed for the part, uh, believe it or not. And that may sound strange, but to me it just makes sense. And um, I don't know, I just live that way. So <laughs> let's see, let's answer some questions. So what does... Um, what does sensuality mean to me? Um, sensuality, I feel like, is something that not only is something that you feel within yourself, but your environment, what you're in, who you love, who's with you um, in this journey. Um, and I feel like it's a good feeling. There's nothing bad that comes with it. Uh, there's no negative. There's no bad thoughts. There's no bad feelings physically, mentally, this is all good. Um, so I think that it's not only a physical thing, but it's also a spiritual thing. And, um, and so the things that I think are sensual um, can either be things or how someone makes me feel um, emotionally. Let's see. So how do you feel sensual sensuality? has changed over the years? Well, um, as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate more um, relationships and the value of things and the value of, um, of life, really, because, you know, I was, as a young, you think you're invincible. And after having children um, and a husband and working on children and my husband, my family working on that every day, um, is a grown up thing. <laughs> you know, I didn't realize, you know, the value of it and how important it is to me and, um, how it makes me feel whole. And that is very sensual to me. Um, and when I was younger, things like, um, I don't know, being able to find, being able to get into a sample sales in New York was like the biggest thing on a Friday, you know, afternoon at lunch, you know, date. So, you know, my priorities have changed and my feelings for things have changed and how important they are to me. So, I hope that answers your question. Okay, so five items, five products. The first one that I'm going to show because it is an empty bottle and it just goes to show you how much I loved it is um it's called Echoes and or Ecos from Natura and this is um an oil that I got in Brazil when I went to go visit and it was three different oils they were actually separate and then you would have to shake it and you put it on and it smells so good. I always get compliments on it. Um, it just smells so exotic. And why it makes me feel sensual is because it just takes me back to the place where I'm on vacation. I'm myself, you know, I'm with my husband. We're in Carnival and dancing and just feel so carefree and sexy and fun. And, um, and so this smell, whenever I put it on, here in the States, my husband just like immediately feels like he's there again. It is like his favorite smell and it's mine too. And it just makes me, I don't know, forget a little and uh, forget my responsibilities. 
and um and I really enjoy it. So that's my first one. If you want to look at it again, probably backwards there. Okay. So my second one is I'm gonna do my scents first. Um, this one, it's Toka, I believe T O C C A, and the smell is Stella. And I get this at Anthropology, and that ooh, that is also my date night smell that not only does my husband and I love, but my daughter. This is my daughter's favorite smell, and this also takes me back to being able to just relax and feel like myself, and I don't have to worry about the stresses of my day, and so I really don't wear this all the time. I honestly just wear it when it's time to relax and not think of the everyday rush. Um, so I like to smell, you know, like poo and vomit uh, daily. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it kind of comes with the territory of having a two-year-old. So I don't really, you know, wear perfume around my babies. So when I do, it's special. See. Um, oh, and the oil, um, a friend of ours in Brazil uh, bought this for me, um, so I did not buy this, but I don't think it's available even online to ship to the States, so I have not been able to get it, um, and then... This one I bought for myself uh, when I went to anthropology. And I'm really weird about smells. They have to be super perfect for me, my nose, my sensitive nose. So um, so I it took me about 45 minutes in the store smelling everything and then having to walk away and then come back to it to find this little bottle. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm answering all the questions. Uh, what about embodied sensuality? I went into that. Um, that. And this one, the and so these. Um, this one makes me feel really soft too because it's an oil. So you know, there's a little shine to it. It's oily. It smells really pretty. Um, exotic not so much pretty but exotic and um, so this one I feel very ooh, like I'm ready to like salsa dance all night like this is that and then this is my scent that I just I tap on you know I just put it on my neck and my wrist where I like to be kissed and uh, this is more like I'm gonna have a dirty martini with my husband that's my scent okay so then my next one is this dress. Um, now, there is something, it's, it's a maxi dress, as you can see, it's a tie-dye, and the material, and there's like a razor back, and the material is a uh, jersey cotton, and let me see, I'm sure there's a blend to it too. I should look that up beforehand. Well, I guess it's not Jersey, but for some reason, it makes me, I thought it was Jersey Con. It's 97% rayon and 3% spandex. Um, the material of this is so nice. And every time I wear it, I just feel like, I don't know, it just makes me feel really confident and that my body looks really nice in it and I feel sexy and it just feels, um, I don't know, it just feels just it's really soft again against my skin and I just love that. And I love the color. I love the dye in it. There's like these dark blues and you know, rustic green, gray, and white, and um, and light blue. I'm not sure if you could see it in this light. 
and like just the design of it, the textile, it makes me feel boho and like this boho chic, like carefree. And I guess I say carefree a lot because I think sensuality makes me feel carefree. So a sensual feeling to me is carefree, um, you know, away from responsibilities, away, you know, feeling like I could just be myself, let my hair down, just like do what I want to do. Um, and I guess that's where I'm at right now in my life, where I don't have the freedom to do that. So when those things like, you know, taking a bath, um, like a warm bath and being able to read a book at a coffee shop by myself or getting my nails done even or, you know, wearing this dress and feeling like a million dollars. Those things are sensual to me because they come far and few in between because of where I am as an adult right now. So I'm sure 10 years from now when my children are older and they don't depend on me so much, um, sensuality will essentially be very different for me and how I define it so it's really interesting okay so and I bought this for myself by the way I buy all my clothes for myself people know better than to buy me clothes <laughs> I have very particular taste okay so my second item is this little mirror as you can tell, there's Frida Kahlo right up there. Let me turn around. It's right there. And you look inside, and it's a mirror, and that's kind of weird. Okay. So, I, first of all, there's something about little miniature things that I just find so comforting. And, um, and the reason why I chose this was because of the artist herself, and not only because I love this, my husband got it for me, and it was a gift for Christmas one year. Um, but the artist itself, and what she represents, um, you know, she was a feminist, and she was just like this strong woman who, you know, kind of didn't give a crap about what people thought. And she went through so many struggles uh, physically and emotionally and, you know, all these broken relationships and being able to just you know, figure out as an artist, like, how to portray her life in such a beautiful way, and the detail in her work, and what it means, and what it represents, is just so special to me, that, you know, the first time I went to go see her, her work at, was in New York, I believe it was at the MoMA, and, um, and I was 12 years old, my dad took me, and he bought me a Frida Kahlo journal and it was like the most important thing to me because I felt like wow like I can really relate to her and I was only 12 but I guess because you know having a weird childhood I grew up um with a lot of struggles and so I just kind of like latched on to this artist growing up and you know ever since you know, her work has pretty much inspired me as an artist, and, you know, she's just my favorite, and I just love everything about her and everything that she represents, so that's mine, Frida Kahlo. Oh. And then, this is going to be weird, but... <clears throat> My other item, I don't know, have we done? Yeah, that's four. Okay, I got another one, but so this belt, see it? It is sparkly. It's got like these beading detailed work, maybe feathers, maybe peacock feathers. But anyway, my husband got this for me, and you know, it's just who I am. I'm a all out, all out kind of girl, you know, I just kind of do my thing and I'll wear this to the supermarket. Like if I'm having a bad day or I just need a little pick me up, I wear my sparkle belt and a t-shirt and, you know, my 
motorcycle boots and get on my motorcycle and take a ride to the grocery store <laughs> with my backpack and I feel good. Like that to me is a sensual moment. Again, you know, away from responsibility, away, you know, from just feeling carefree, riding my bike, wearing my sparkly belt, and um, and yeah, it's feels good. So feels good. It makes me feel confident, and no one understands it. No one gets it, but it's mine. So um, I think I hope I got everything. And when I wear this belt, I mean, it's like literally a night and day personality. Like, I'm having a bad day, and I put my belt on. <laughs> I do a little jazz right in front of my mirror, like, let's get to it. Let's do this. It's going to be a good day. And I don't care what I'm wearing. I'll put that sparkly belt on. And it's, you know, it's time to, you know, put the big girl panties on and start doing stuff in the house. Like, it's just something that just makes me feel like, okay, you know, resetting myself. Um, and I don't know why it's strange, but, and nobody knows it. So you're like the first person in to knowing what's behind the sparkly belt. And I'm pretty sure nobody notices either, either because sometimes I hide it under my shirt. So whatever. And senses. Mm. What sense does. I don't know what sense this reaches. I guess a physical one. Um, obviously, senses are all physical. That's really stupid. Um, I guess how it feels. I like the touch of it, I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks and how it makes me feel when I put it on. It gives me a burst of confidence. Who doesn't like a little sparkle in their life, right? Okay. And I think that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I randomly talk and go all over the place. Um, but that's just me. Okay. Now it says, is there an item product out there now that you want that speaks to sensuality I do and it is this I don't know who makes this I don't know what smell this is but I did a project a little while back and you know it was to test smells and this is it this is my jam I love this smell I'm like literally holding on to it strong. There's only a little bit left. It is my favorite smell. I love it. And I put it all over my house. So if anybody could tell me who this Monday 834 is made by, please drop about a dozen at my house. Thanks. Okay. So as that is the product that I want. <laughs> and that speaks sensuality. And it just... It's a feel-good smell. I could do it during the day. I could do it, put it at night. I could put it in my kitchen. I could put it in my bedroom. Like, I'm not getting sick of it. It's my favorite. So, yeah, I love it. In your opinion, which brand represents, demonstrates sensuality really well? Hmm. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's skip to the next one. If you had to create a fragrant fragrance that smelled like sensuality, what would it smell like? Hmm. Well, I think that I would do like a combination of these two. Something that's like so calming and um and comforting and warm, but at the same time like gives you a little like exotic spice in your life. would be the perfect smell. Okay. 
And then which, which one represents them? Um, I want to say I want to say um Mm-hmm. 